everyone welcome back to the channel so a few days back I shared my entire week's workout routine and some of you asked me to also share my diet plan and that is what this video is going to be about what I eat in a day and I call this my easy weight loss diet for super busy people and yeah I am hoping you will enjoy this video so let's get started my mornings always start with a glass of warm drink to kickstart the metabolism and recently I am trying these apple cider vinegar tablets which is a very interesting way of having ACP. So these are effervescent tablets and every time I add them to the water it becomes a very fizzy refreshing drink and I think it's a very fresh start to the morning. And also it gives me all the goodness of ACV but it tastes far better and yeah I just love having this in the morning these days. Now moving on to the breakfast, these days I am having this very filling oatmeal cooked with protein powder and a portion of fruit and for that I start off by measuring the oats. So I am measuring 50 grams of oats which is enough for me and my husband. So I am adding the oats to a pan and to that I am also adding some warm water. So I always love using warm water because it just makes the cooking process faster and easier. I am giving the oats a very quick stir and then I will cover and allow it to cook for some time and in the meantime I will prepare the fruits. I have any fruits that I have at home and on this day I was having some apple. Now I love adding the apples to my oatmeal because it just gives some added sweetness to the oatmeal. So I chopped it up really finely. The oatmeal is also nearly ready now and it's time to add the protein powder. So we use this particular plant protein powder and each serving gives around 25 grams of protein which is really a good amount and it comes in a lot of different flavors. Now uh, we are using this one which is mango flavored and I love it. It reminds me of the summer days and so I just add this to the oatmeal and give it a really good stir so that everything gets mixed really well. So yeah, now it's ready to be served. So I just take it in a bowl, add the chopped apple on the top and it's ready. Honestly, this is one of the best breakfast dishes that I've ever tried. It tastes like a dessert, it is very filling, it is very nutritious and I just love to have it as the first meal of the day. Now moving on to lunch, on most days I have some rice along with vegetables and some sort of protein like fish, chicken, paneer, anything and on this particular day I decided to cook some chicken along with broccoli just to combine the vegetables and the protein into a one pot meal. So I started off by grinding some ginger and garlic. I love making this paste whenever I get time. It just enhances the taste of the dish. And then I chopped up the vegetables starting with some tomato and some onion. And then of course I chopped up the broccoli and separated the florets. This is one of the reasons I love winter. I love the variety of vegetables that we get and honestly I love broccolis. And then I also blanch the broccolis because it really helps to retain the color and flavor of the vegetable. So I start off by adding some jeera to some hot oil and to that I am adding the onion followed by the ginger garlic paste. And next I am also adding the tomatoes and then I just stir everything well together and also add a little salt and little turmeric powder and then I stir everything well together add a little oil give it a good stir and then just cover the pan and allow everything to cook together for some time. So 
So once the gravy comes to a boil, it's time to add the chicken. Now here I am adding some pressure cooked chicken which I did as a part of my meal prep and I feel it makes the cooking easier and faster. So I mix the chicken really well with the gravy and allow it to cook in high heat for a while so that the gravy dries down and it starts looking like this. And once it reaches this consistency then it's time to add the broccoli. So you can add more water to this if you love having some extra curry or gravy with your rice but I love this dish dry so this is what it looks like and now I am going to serve this. So again I am measuring everything I have around 60 grams of rice and along with that I just have some 160 grams of chicken along with the vegetables. And I'm just going to add some lemon wedges to this and lunch is served. At around 7, 7.30 I have the last heavy meal of the day which is also my pre-workout meal. So usually it's two toasts along with some sort of egg. And on this day I wanted to show you how I make my favorite egg balls. So I just started off by breaking open the eggs. And it's two whole eggs and two egg whites for each one of us and I am making it for both me and my husband. And then I add a pinch of salt and mix it well together. And once it's ready, I set it aside and start preparing the vegetables. So for this particular egg ball recipe, my choice of vegetables is always constant. It's spring onion, some coriander and all the different types of bell pepper. And then I add all these finely chopped vegetables to the eggs. I start off by brushing all these holes with oil and it requires very little oil so even though the dish is very savory it's also healthy. And once the oil is hot I start by pouring the egg mixture into each of these holes and once all of it is filled up I just cover it and allow it to cook for some time. And once the top looks like this it means that the bottom side is already cooked. So it's time to turn the balls upside down and allow the other side to cook. Honestly, it just needs some time to figure it out. It may become a little messy at times, but I always find making this dish very fun and interesting. So I just cook it whenever I have time. And I allow the other side to cook for 2 minutes and once that's done, the balls are ready and it's time to take them out on a plate. And I'm also lightly toasting some bread in a frying pan and here yeah, this is my pre-workout meal it's very filling it's very high in protein and also it's pretty interesting so yeah this is my last heavy meal for the day now my dinner is always very simple and light and on most of the days it's soup and on this particular day I made some soup using my favorite fish so I started off by marinating the fish with some salt and pepper and also with onion, garlic and ginger powder. You can also use onion, garlic, ginger paste but I use these powders on days when I am in a rush. And I mixed everything well together and then allowed the fish to rest for a while. Now as the fish marinates, I also prepped and chopped the vegetables and on this day I used some tomato, some spring onion and some coriander. On days when I feel extra hungry, I also add mushroom, carrot, beans and all these vegetables. But on most of the days, I really keep it very simple and light and tomato and coriander is my favorite combination when it comes to soups. So 
once the fish is marinated i just allow it to boil in hot water for some 15 20 minutes and uh, i am using bhetki for this particular recipe and that fish is very soft and it gets cooked really quickly after 20 minutes i use a fork to check if the fish is are cooked and yes it's cooked so i just take it out and using the forks i just shred them up into really tiny bite sized pieces now for the soup i start off by adding a tablespoon of oil in a kadai and once the oil is heated up i add all the spring onion and then i also add the tomatoes and just stir both of these together and allow them to cook together for a while and then i just add a little salt nothing else just some salt because a lot of flavor is already added when the fish is marinated so next i add the fish stock to this it already has all the onion ginger garlic pepper and all of it so i just cover it and allow it to cook for a while and once it comes to a boil i open the lid and add the fish to this now because the fish is already boiled and it's very soft it does not require a lot of extra cooking so after adding the fish i just give everything a very good stir and then i switch off the gas so i add the coriander leaves at last give everything a very good stir and yes the soup is ready so this is one of the best soups that i have ever tried in my life it's so light and so refreshing and i love having it in the winter nights so yeah that is it for this video guys do let me know what you think about it and i will be back with a new video very soon till then take care and bye